2018 Moscow Constantinople Schism Reactions International Community Russia, on October 12, 2018, the Russian President, Vladimir Putin, held an operational meeting with the permanent members of the Security Council, the Security Council of Russia, that discussed a wide range of domestic and foreign policy issues, including the situation around the Russian Orthodox Church in Ukraine, according to Putin's press secretary Dmitry Peskov. On December 17, 2018, it was reported that the Federal Security Service of Russia, along with members of the Moscow Patriarchate, had created mobile groups to prevent communities in Ukraine from switching from the UAK MP to the AKU. Thus's groups are present in each diocese of the UAK MP and are composed of a lawyer and several sporty men. On 20th of December, Russian President Putin condemned the creation of the AKU. Ukraine, Ukraine's President, Petro Poroshenko, enthusiastically welcomed Constantinople's October decision and presented the Ukrainian Church's independence as part of Ukraine's wider conflict with Russia, and Ukraine's desire to integrate with the West by joining the European Union and NATO. Later, during various official speeches, Poroshenko stressed the importance of Ukraine receiving its Tomos of autocephaly which Ukraine deserved, is the equivalent of a charter of, Ukraine's, spiritual independence and was comparable to a referendum on Ukraine's independence and would be another pillar of Ukrainian independence. On the 27th anniversary of the referendum on independence of Ukraine, Poroshenko declared the Tomos of autocephaly was the equivalent of Ukraine saying away from Moscow, Europe now. After the election of Epiphany as primate of the Orthodox Church of Ukraine on 15th of December, Poroshenko declared, this day will go into history as a sacred day. The day of the final independence from Russia. United States, the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo urged all sides to respect the independence of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, reiterating the United States' strong support for religious freedom and the freedom of members of religious groups. On 15 December, the U.S. Embassy in Kiev congratulated, via Twitter, Ukraine for having elected the primate of the autocephalous Orthodox Church of Ukraine. On 17 December, the U.S. Department of State officially congratulated Metropolitan Epiphany for his election. Belarus. The president of Belarus, the country in which the Synod of the Russian Orthodox Church took place, met members of the Synod of the Russian Orthodox Church on October 15, 2018 after the ROC's decision to sever communion with the Ecumenical Patriarchate. Montenegro, on December 21, 2018, the Montenegrin president said the state of Montenegro had the responsibility to consolidate the autocephaly of the unrecognized Montenegrin Orthodox Church. Reactions of the Orthodox Churches Numerous Orthodox Churches took position concerning the question of the canonical jurisdiction over Ukraine, whether before or after this schism.